morning today i will be talking about the quantum hall effect and in particular the integer quantum hall effect before we do so let us understand the classical explanation of this phenomena so here we have a material which can be a semiconductor or a metal and through this uh, we pass a current in the x direction so the current density j is in the x direction and we apply an external magnetic field perpendicular to this which is in the z direction so because of this magnetic field b the flowing charge experiences a force in the y direction and produces produces a potential difference the this voltage we can measure in the experiment since we have a current flowing and the a potential developing we can talk about the resistance so when the ohm's law is generalized we can say that the electric field produced by the current ex and ey is a linear combination of jx and jy but in our case uh, the current is made to flow in the x direction so jy is zero the resistance the longitudinal resistance rxx is vx by ix and it is related to the resistivity with some geometrical parameters over here it is lx and ly lx and ly are the lengths of the material in the x and the y directions interestingly when we look at the transverse resistance which is vy by ix it is uh, directly related to the resistivity xy and it does not depend on the geometrical properties so we can imagine that when we increase the magnetic field the charges are going to accumulate more and more because the force is larger and because of this larger force the potential will be higher so we can imagine that rho xy will be proportional to b and this proportionality constant is called the hall coefficient now that we understand the setup let us uh, understand what the drude model has to say about this so in the drude days model we talk about the momentum averaged over a particular time so we talk about average momentum okay and the momentum is average over the time scale of the relaxation time tau so when we assume the steady state uh, of for this equation from the drude days model we obtain values of rho xx and rho xy and indeed rho xy is uh, seen to be proportional to b as we expected to experience uh, to observe quantum effects we have to go to extremely low temperatures and we have to vary the magnetic field to very large values because even values of 1 tesla and 2 tesla are actually very large so once we do this for large magnetic field we see that rho xy has uh, forms plateaus that is for a certain interval of the magnetic field rho xy gets fixed and rho xx goes to zero the features of this graph is uh, captured by these equations so rho xy is inversely proportional to uh, the f uh, is inversely proportional to an integer and so is the magnetic field in this formula if we increase mu then we get uh, b and rho to be continuous because nu is very small so rho and b uh, the disc the differences in rho and b becomes very small and rho and b become uh, continuous and they are proportional so um, that is what is proposed by the that is what is predicted by the drude's model to understand this phenomena is this quantum phenomena we have to understand the quantum mechanics of the electron in a magnetic field for doing so we have to deal with the hamiltonian in which the vector potential a is involved and uh, as the story goes with the vector potential a there are several choices for a two of them are called uh, two of them are shown here one is called the symmetric gauge and one is called the landau gauge the use of the landau gauge is uh, very interesting that in the landau gauge uh, we can calculate the degeneracy of the levels very easily so 
once we do that we find that the landau levels are equispaced that is the energy levels are equispaced right and they are given by this formula h cross omega b so the spacing between the energy levels is h cross omega b and each level has a degeneracy so the number of electrons per unit area is going to be b by phi naught where phi naught is a quantum of flux given by this lowest uh, equation so what happens is there are several states and when exactly new of them are fixed we find something interesting we find when that over here when exactly new of the energy levels are filled are completely filled then we find this uh, the predictions by the experiment so rho xy is fixed and b is fixed to understand what happens for the magnetic field which is not given uh, which is which is not an integral multiple of b by phi naught we have to consider the potential created by disorder in the crystal that is the uh, impurities and defects which are there in the crystal and these have to be significantly lower than h cross omega b which is the energy scale of the landau levels and the energy scale of the landau levels have to be comparable to the uh, temperature kbt right so what happens is that the v disorder forms crests and troughs so v disorder forms energy states which are very localized so once an electron is in a trough it is very difficult for it to get outside because it has to tunnel through and because of this reason uh, the energy states created by the v disorder do not contribute to the conduction so over here we say that the disorder is larger than the coulombic repulsions okay so what happens if we take a very pure crystal okay so in this case we see the fractional quantum hall effect so in this new can take certain fractional values so new equal to 1 by 3 2 by 5 1 by 5 so these are observed so to explain this we have to consider the coulombic repulsions in the hamiltonian the further scope uh, which uh, we gain by understanding the integer quantum hall effects is first to study the fractional quantum hall effects and for that we have to understand log lean states there are uh, instead of that you can also look at the conduction on the edges because in the edges there is some charge accumulation and that is a one dimensional problem that also we can explore right and there are many more such topics for now this is all thank you very much